Hello, this is Jessica McKay with your July love column. If you are used to reading these over on the blog at numerologist.com, they're turning into a video format. So I will be selecting a question and I'll do a video. I will give a reading to that person about their question. So if you have a question about love or relationship that you would like me to consider, please leave it in the Facebook comments beneath this post. So the question is from Carmen. And Carmen writes, Hi, Jessica. I was in a horribly abusive and selfish relationship for 18 years. He stripped me of who I was. I've been single for about 15 years now, and I still haven't learned how to really put myself out there. I'm afraid I won't meet anyone because of the way I am now. Will I ever meet someone or will I be alone for the rest of my path? Okay. Hi, Carmen. So when I look at your energy, it's clear that you did in fact sustain some real injuries in that relationship. And what I'm seeing is I'm seeing a space in your aura and where I'm seeing it is up by the crown chakra. And what that means to me is that in this relationship, your partner was really judgmental and had very strong opinions. And so what would happen is that he would try to get you to second guess what you felt was right for you or what you felt was true for you. So you would express yourself and then he would go to work explaining why you were wrong and changing your mind. And so you stopped being able to trust your knowingness, that divine guidance that just comes through. You lost your, your confidence to read situations and read energy and read people, which is why you've very understandably um, pulled back from being visible. So you haven't been putting yourself out there. So this makes total sense. And what I'm hearing is that this pattern, the reason you were able to get into an abusive situation like that, it comes from childhood for you. So as a little girl, and I feel like around eight years old, maybe younger, you received the message that you weren't okay the way you were and you needed to jump through a lot of hoops to get the love of somebody who was more judgmental. It could have been your dad. It could have been somebody else. But my sense is that you learned that you needed the love and approval of someone who seemed like they knew what they were talking about. And so you've been drawn over your lifetime to men that are um, very opinionated. And this is a common thing. Um, let me see if there's anything else your guides want to show me about this. Okay, so they show me that what's most important to you is feeling safe. So... When you write, um, I've been single for about 15 years now, and I still haven't learned how to put myself out there. I'm afraid I won't meet anyone because of the way I am now. What I'm getting is that there's a deeper fear, and it's not that you, that you won't meet anyone, but your deeper fear is that you will meet someone, and it's going to feel the way it felt before when you, you really weren't safe in that relationship. So I'm hearing that it has been easier for you to not put yourself out there. It's been safer. So I feel as though you need to do some work on this. And I sense that you have done some work. You've gone to therapy. I feel like I can see that energetic signature of someone who's done work on themselves and really tried, uh, but it feels like it's not enough. I'm seeing the color dark blue in your aura and dark blue is about grief. It's about letting go. So I feel like you're still grieving, not the relationship, but you're grieving that sense of loss that came out of that relationship of not being able to trust yourself. And you're grieving that over a lifetime from when you were a little girl. Does that make sense? I hope so. 
So you still have some work to do to let go of that grief. And I feel like as you do that, whether you pursue some more therapy with someone new, a different counselor, um, if you want to do some self-acceptance work, reading Louise Hay is always great. She's all about self-love and self-acceptance. The more you work on yourself, the more you love yourself, the more you know that you're enough and you're worthy and you deserve love and you don't deserve abuse or to be yelled at or to be told that what you feel and think isn't true, you know, you deserve love. Um, you deserve that unconditional appreciation of a partner. The more you really feel that truth, the easier it will be to put yourself out there. Right now, you don't want to get out there. You've got an inner child that's really scared of going on dates because she doesn't trust herself. You don't trust yourself to be able to read situations because of what happened in the past. So my sense is that when you start really working on that confidence again, having the confidence to know who you are, to know how you feel, to admit your feelings to yourself, it's all going to change. And I'm getting the color orange now, and that's about laughter and doing things that are fun. So as you decide to date, as you do put yourself out there, make sure that you approach it with the attitude of having fun. I'm just going to have fun. I'm going to go out and meet someone and have a good time tonight. That's all you need to think about. So um, try to give it that lighthearted sense instead of thinking about it being this really heavy, scary thing that you're doing. Okay, so I hope that this message was helpful to you. And anyone else watching, if you would like to have a question considered, go ahead and write it in the comments. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again next month.